Hello, it's Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video from start to finish, I'll show you how to create and master a sung radio jingle. So here I am in Adobe Audition CC, and I'm going to go straight into the multi-track and start up my sung jingle like so. No template required here, so I'm going to go for none, and we're just going to get started mixing in these vocals from our vocalist Kim. Really, really good stuff. I've got a rough mix of what it will sound like here. If I want to have a listen, I could just give that a quick play. Let's have a quick listen to this, see what we need. Take a leap Okay, we're aiming for that, but obviously with a bit more sparkle and some nice mastering magic on it. So drag in all of the vocals here, get rid of that, and we will get all of these vocals into the sung jingle session file here. There we go. So we've got, uh, as you see, um, Vox 1, Vox 1 double, Vox 1 triple, uh, and the same here uh, with the uh, station name sung, and then different variants on the station name here on Vox 2 and Vox 3. So we can just audition. This is the first one that sounds like this. Let's turn the volume up. Take the leap, edge your radio. And then we'll introduce uh, Vox 2. Edge radio. And then we'll introduce Vox 3. Edge radio. And then what we'll do is we'll just uh, unsolo everything so everything is playing in full and see if we've got nice levels down here on the levels meters. Take the leap, Edge Radio. Okay, we're peaking, so what I'm going to do is do minus three on every track. You can do this easily in the mix of view up here, mix of view, and then just go along the bottom here, minus three, minus three, minus three. Um, we're just taking each track down by three decibels so we don't get that uh, that peaking sound that we had uh, when the station name came in. Let's have a listen. Take the leap, edge your radio. Much better. Okay, now to give some uh, space and width uh, in the sung jingle, we just want to pan left and right these vocals so we can get a nice wide stereo sound from these vocals. Just panning left and right, just kind of randomly like this. And Take the leap. Sounds good. Radio. Now we want to get the vocals sounding good. Uh, this is a brand new plugin from Isotope that I'm going to show you. It's really, really cool. Uh, into my audio units from Isotope, and we're going for Nectar 3 Elements. Really quick way to get sung vocals popping out your speakers. This uh, Nectar Elements is designed specifically for sung vocals. Select just the vocal area, loop it, and we're going for a modern sound, and we want an intensity of moderate here. Click go. It's waiting for your audio. Take the leap. Now it's analyzing. Edge radio. It will start to do its magic. Take the leap. Edge radio. Doing some nice Take work. Take the leap. Edge radio. Take the leap. Edge radio. Mm -hmm. Sounding Take good. Take the leap. Edge radio. Okay, great. Take so now. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> we have uh, basically a really good sounding uh, vocal. So now I'm going to drag in uh, the ramp for the electro jingle that we're using here, pop it down onto a new channel. And I'm not sure if this will quite be synced how I'd like it to be, so I'm going to try and sync it. Up. And actually, that is synced absolutely perfectly, but the track here is way too loud, so I'm going to need to turn the ramp track down just a smidge so we can hear the vocals over the top. So minus 10 on the vocals, and we'll click play. And that's actually sounding really good now. So uh, back in, listen again. Okay, sounding really good. So we got a nice mix there. What I can do now on this track, you see it's already pretty well mastered and compressed. I can go in and use something similar to Nectar, but this time for uh, music. And it's again in my effects rack here. And I'm going to go into audio units, isotope, and I'm going to go for Ozone 8. Now Ozone 8 has something very similar to Nectar Elements in the fact that it can listen to your audio and it can make it sound good. Uh, and you can use the master assistant to do this. So we're mastering here uh, for, let's say, streaming, because this is going to go out on a web radio station. You click next, it will start listening for your audio. You play it and let it do its magic again. Analyzing audio, equalizer coming in, dynamic range changing.
and it's still going, so we might need to loop this back again. Okay, very nice. Now you can see we've got the maximizer running there, just ever so slightly, true peak limiting. Dynamic EQ, we're pulling out just a few little parts of the EQ there to make that bed sound better. Dynamics is rolling away as well. And we've got another equalizer here. And this is all done using the master assistant, using kind of uh, machine learning algorithms to make your audio sound better easily. Take it out of solo mode, bring the vocals back in. Let's have a listen. And that's actually sounding pretty, pretty good. Now, I've just realized one thing that I've done. I have actually added this Nectar 3 Elements to the master channel, which isn't so good because I'm running Nectar 3 Elements on the ramp as well because master basically masters everything in your multi-track. So what I'll want to do is go into Nectar 3 Elements. I am going to save this as a preset. Let's call this uh, the name of the radio station, which is Edge Radio. Click OK. So that's now a preset that's saved. And then I can create a bus. Easy way to do this, right click. Uh, and we're looking for insert. Uh, no, we're not. We're looking for track. And we're adding a stereo bus track here. And this will be our sung vocals all pulled together on one channel eventually. And what I'll do is I'll go back in now and insert isotopes nectar three elements over here. Uh, wait for it to load up, bouncing, bouncing beach ball, <laughs> and we'll go back to the, uh, there we go, there's the preset for Edge of Radio back in. Now, to get this to work, see, uh, Nectar 3 elements can now be deleted from the master track. So we've got Ozone 8 on the music ramp, we've got Nectar 3 elements on the sung vocals bus track, we're going to route these all through the sung vocals bus, like so, by clicking, instead of master, we're going for sung vocals here, on each and every sung vocal track. Here we go. Just wrap this up. And once we have done that for every single track, we can take another listen and you should get a really nice, cool, clear sound on the overall jingle. And this is one of the quickest ways with Ozone 8 and Nectar 3 elements to make a sung jingle. Let's bring it in. Ozone 8 mastering on the music bed sounds good. It's pulled out some of the uh, the frequencies, particularly around speech, so you can cut across the bed by speaking really easily. And then eventually you'll see the sung vocals will come in right here. Radio. Sounds good. You've got the space, the width as well, being introduced by Nectar 3 Elements and the wonderful space. If it's not enough space or reverb at the end, you can turn it up. Radio. And then you can really hear the reverb at the end. That might be something that you want to go for in a kind of more retro sound. Or if you want to go for a more contemporary sound, take the reverb out and keep it clean. If it's not sounding crisp enough to you over here in Polish, these are the two main controls I would play with. I would usually say uh, the machine learning generally gets clarity, DS and dynamics right, but to make it crisper, it's essentially a, a bit of an exciter this, the tone. You can whack it up, have a listen. See, it just makes the, the vocals crisp and clear. Uh, sometimes if you go too far, it might go a little bit brittle, so just be careful. That's probably too high, a little too brittle. I might go from 1.2. And I'll probably add some space around 1.6. And we got something that's been mixed up, I mean, really easily, you know, in under 10 minutes. So that's pretty good going uh, to just get the, the sound of a sung jingle mixed and mastered correctly. Uh, so check out Nectar 3 Elements from Isotope. And if you want to go further with mastering Ozone 8, you could run a second pass once you've mixed down. You could run Ozone 8 Master Assistant over your sung jingle again. It may well be overkill, but I'll leave you to experiment with that. Let me know how you get on in the comments to this video.